I'm going to take into 2021 faith. I think that is what this year has taught all of us, that we have to have faith. All right, so my bag's packed for 2021, and when I was thinking about what I was going to put in my bag, um, I really focused on habit, there up there, um, habit number seven, sharpen the saw, because a lot of people tell me that sometimes I don't take enough time for myself, so what I'm bringing into 2021 is first my Bible, my planner, a good book, The Coffee Bean, more info coming soon, um, my water bottle, gotta drink water to be healthy, my workout clothes, my family, and my sunglasses for when I go to the beach. <laughs> well, you know, oftentimes I think that we don't live healthy lives because we're trying to live the lives of others and I referred back to first first Corinthians verse 7 when Paul says only let each person lead the life that the Lord has assigned to them and to which God has called him so in 2021 I am taking contentment with me I am going to make contentment um, the forefront of the entire year and study on that word and really what that means. I would say uh, plenty of smiles and adapting to change for 2021. Positive attitude. Um, I would have to say peace and understanding. And I keep working hard. And nothing bad happens. And let's see, make a good year. That God loves you. He knew you before you were ever known by your parents. That he wants the best for you. That he loves you beyond what you can ever imagine. And that we should trust in him because he's got this. Whatever this may be. I will be taking into 2021 the mindset um, from the book that we're reading this year, The Coffee Bean, to be transformational um, from the inside out, just like The Coffee Bean. Um, I think with all that's going on, even the unknown, we have to be able and willing to uh, just be transformational. And so that's what I'm going to do, despite whatever comes my way for 2021, I am going to choose to be the bean. I will be taking into 2021 um, my appreciation for my family because after this pandemic and a lot of people have had hardships and loss of family so I'm very thankful for mine so I'm going to carry that into 2021. I'm going to take commitment into 2021 where I plan to be the best father, friend, leader, best basketball coach, best athletic director, in the world. So in 2021, I'm focusing on commitment. I feel like I should be funny and, and make a joke about this because 2020 was so not funny and it was not good. But like the one thing I want to talk about is just, I want to be serious and say, don't rush time. Like enjoy the day. And as corny as that sounds and as stupid as that sounds, it's like, I know this year has been a hot mess, just a legit hot mess, but some good has come out of it. Um, and hold on to those, those little things, those small things, no matter how small it may be, and no matter how insignificant it is to somebody else, it doesn't have to be small to you. Um, just enjoy those things. And, and a small positive is still a positive. So lead with that into 2021. I hope well, health, and just good vibes, good energy, because we definitely need it, because 2020 has been a booger. In 2021, I've taken in gratefulness. I want to be grateful for everything that I have and all the people that I still have with me in my life, and for God sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, 
And for my girls here at school and all the kids that I get to teach every day, they keep me young and happy. Uh, I say positivity with everything that's going on. Uh, coronavirus shutting down schools, athletic events, everything around the world. Uh, just gotta stay positive in these types of situations. I hope I can do it without being too emotional. 2020 has been a tough year, but I can also look back and say, 2020 allowed me time at home with my family. So, you know, there are good parts to it as well. But the thing I learned the most is that there is absolutely nothing I can control but me and how I choose to react to whatever, good, bad, or ugly, and um, what, other, what other people choose and what the world um, does and who's president, anything like that, I can't control. But I can pray and do the right thing and stay positive and choose joy and be the best uh, Shelly Rivers that I can be. 2021, I'm taking in positive vibes, um, a new attitude, um, a positive mindset, family, friends, um, just a great outlook on 2021. Don't take anything for granted because you never know what might happen. Um, I'll be taking into 2021 um, the notion that difficult times show us the real face of life and it, sh it shows us the real face of people and we have to be intentional with everything we do um, because our future depends on it. I am taking a brand new grandbaby into 2021. A resilient spirit to fight for the kids in this community to ensure that we have the best quality we can have in Quitman, Mississippi. Faith, attitude, and determination. Taking an impressive team of athletes. More love and more understanding because we, we can accept people for who they are and they just accept people in the world with more love and more understanding. <laughs> Hope. But this 21 is going to be marvelous because once we get stabilized and we get strengthened and immunized, then we'll be all right because every year, whatever may be the day or minute and what we have to show is only the love and the care to every life around. But this 2021 is going to be victorious for me because my love is going to be immensified, you know. Enhance, you know, it's going to be enhanced, and I'm going to try to do more than what I could in 2020, and so that I can strengthen. I mean, I can stretch my strength and hand so as to, you know, catch hold of them and then make them stand stronger. So that's what is my ultimate aim. 21 is going to be more victorious than what we could all these years. Uh, I plan on taking my children, my family all my faith in God and hopes to have a better 21 than 20 was. I'm gonna take lessons. I think that I'm going to take into 2021 the reality that family matters. The time that you spend with the loved ones that you have now is, it's, it's what matters. Cause time, you don't have time. You never know how much time you have. So I think that family and the time that you spend with that family, that's what really matters. Positivity, first of all, uh, a new baby, and my great family. Uh, just the mindset of overcoming adversity. We've had a crazy year, and uh, just overcoming adversity in life and helping teach the kids to overcome adversity in sports and in their lives too. Okay, so 2020, was a year that we will all remember as being the strangest school year ever. But 2021 is gonna be so much better. We know what to expect. We're gonna take our positivity with us. We're gonna do great things. We're gonna take every challenge that we get and we're gonna just go with it. That's all you can do is just smile and keep on pushing forward. So I'm going to take my positivity and my want to attitude into 2021. And I hope you do the same. In 2021, I will be taking my faith with me for sure because with um, everything that's been going on with COVID-19 and trying to 
teach children and, and do what we need to do for them, my faith has definitely grown. And I want to take it even further in 2021. Hope. Hope for a better tomorrow, for a better today. Just hope in general. I'm going to bring more, more positive energy and like, and like, good vibes that, you know, that brings more people together, you know. And some love, that's it. I, I think of four things specifically. Uh, love, truth, honesty, and patience. I want to love people and love myself and love others, love God. And that, that specifically means just having people's best interest in mind. Uh, and the truth follows up with that, is that at times I am not hiding the truth, but I don't speak the truth because I'm worried about how it may be received. And so the truth is I just want what's best for people and I want everyone else to as well. And that is honesty. You have to be honest with yourself. There are times when I'm not honest with myself. I may think I can do things that I can't, and you may as well, but you gotta be honest and say, I just wanna get better at things. I just wanna help people, and that's where patience comes in. And you just gotta be able to wade through, tie, tie a rope at the, uh, a knot at the end of the rope, and just hang on until things get better, and they will get better. And so, truth, love, honesty, and patience, those are the four things I'm gonna bring into 2021. Hope and prayer. Uh, in 2021, what I've learned from 2020, first of all, how important people are. And I just want to carry that sentiment with people first. And, you know, that love that we have for each other, I just want to carry it forth into 2021. That's more important than anything. I think that's why Jesus came, so we can spread that love. We are taking a new sense of pride in Panther soccer. A renewed spirit and the belief that Quiver High School can. Because uh, 2020 is gone and behind us, we're going to step forward and step forward into success. I guarantee it. I think I'm going to take one of my most important things would be my faith in God. He continues to bless me greatly, even though I don't deserve it. Um, I think I would take the love that I have, the great love that I have for my husband, my family, my friends, my students, all the people I treasure. And finally, I think I would take hope, hope that this year on all the things that I didn't get to do that I wanted to do because we were in a pandemic, that those things will be possible in, in 2021. But I am taking good cheer. I am going to take good thoughts. I am going to be uh, inspired and everything. 2021 has been a year, but I, we all, we the ones of us live through it, then uh, we can testify that, you know, that he has been a year, but we made through it, made it through. And there are a lot of people that did not make it through, but we're glad that we did. So in the year of 2021, I'm going to take good cheer. I'm going to take good thoughts and I'm going to be blessed in the year 2021. I'm going to take the commitment I made to myself to remain active. Um, Ms. King and Ms. Fawcett and I and Ms. Hines are competing each month for daily challenges to see who can meet all three of their moving goals and remaining active and that motivates me because I want to win. So that's what I'm going to take in, take with me to 2021. 2020 was grace, and I think I definitely needed grace to get through 2020, and I needed to give grace and accept grace, but for 2021, I think I want to Man. take peace. Hey. I want um, oh, scary. my life to um, mean something. I want the peace that I've learned, the simplicity uh, that I've had to deal with in 2020 to be to carry over into 2021 so that I appreciate the little things of life. Oh, there's so many things I'd love to take into 2021. Uh, after the kind of year that we've had, uh, one of the things that pops up first is perspective. It's all in how we look at it. And my wish for 
2021 is for everyone, including myself, to stop looking at things like we have to and start looking at things like we get to. Um, I'd like to take with me just the, the a positive attitude and learning experiences, especially from this past year, and hopefully um, take some knowledge with me based on some of the things that we went through this past year. I'm gonna take faith and trust in God in 2021, I'm taking positivity with me. I'm not going to focus on the negatives. Um, instead, I'm going to focus on all the positivity uh, that that is evident every day and everywhere around me. Uh, so that's what I hope to focus on in 2021. I think I'm going to take a different perspective, one where um, I'm more aware of the things that I have and I'm more grateful for them. And I realize um, where we've come from and where we still have to go. And um, just a different perspective on life in general, where we focus more on the things that are really important rather than the material things of this world or the things that don't matter. Um, I often tell myself, if, is this something that's going to matter to me a year from now? And if the answer to that question is no, then it doesn't need to matter to me now. So I think it's just a different perspective about what's really important and what matters and what doesn't. Taking a positive attitude that none of 2020 will be going with me into 2021. I think uh, mainly what I'm taking in is um, where it always starts is my faith, you know. Um, I'm going to have that lead me into 2021. Um, that's my driving force. And then on top of that, you know, probably a more positive attitude, you know, because I believe that through 2020, a lot of us have been, you know, negative and even myself included at times. And so I'm going to try to have a, a brighter outlook for 2020. I'm taking into uh, 2021 patience, uh, the ability to roll with the flow, which I haven't been too good at that in the past, and to accept things as they are. In 2021, I'm taking optimism. I think just when 2020 has uh, been a, a year of a lot of unexpectancies, a lot of uncertainties, and just seem like bad news. I'm expecting a great year. I'm expecting a year of prosperity. I'm expecting a year of congratulations, a year of all the yeses that we've been waiting to hear, and just tons of love and just beautiful smiles. So that's what I'm looking for in 2020. That's what I'm going to pour out to the world, and I hope I'll be able to receive it back from you. I'm going to tell you what's important to me. What am I taking into 2021? Uh, I'm going to take the coffee bean attitude and try and live it every day into 2021. Uh, and despite what happens, I want to try and be a positive influence uh, no matter the circumstance, no matter what hand I'm dealt, no matter what happens in life. I want to try and turn it into something positive and influence my environment. So that's the biggest takeaway from 2020 for me, and that's what I'm taking into 2021. Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus, so holy, meek and mild. New life, new hope. New joy brings, and listen to the angels sing. Glory, glory, glory to the newborn king. He was heralded by an angel, born in a lowly manger. The Virgin Mary was his mother, and Joseph was his earthly father. Three wise men came from afar. They were guided by a shining star to see King Jesus where he lay in a manger filled with hay. Oh, gee, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. 
Jesus, Jesus, so holy, meek and mild. New life, new hope, new joy brings. Listen to the angels sing. Glory, glory, glory to the new born King. Merry Christmas and a happy, prosperous, and healthy New Year.